it is. I'm not going to guess this one. It's time for a snack bang. Oh, and I got something on my face. Anyway, so I thought I'd just pop in here and be naughty. Do you like to be naughty? I do. So these are the things we're going to snack on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. Some chocolate and peanuts. So, and I, I ate a little bit of a piece of one already, so a little bit ahead of you. Oh, I got another candy bar, too. Anyway, I guess we're going to get our $600 stimulus check for those that qualify. <laughs> I don't know who qualifies and who don't. Don't care. I'd like to have it. But if I don't get one, I ain't dying. Say, hello, Tippy. I have a scary story to tell you. Today, I was trying to eat my lunch, which consisted of a hamburger patty, some leftover fried potatoes, they're like fried potatoes like in a bag, little seasoned potatoes. And I had some corn mixed with some green beans. And um, I'm sitting here eating, thinking about mukbangs. This is Mr. Good Bar, chocolate and peanut butter. Think about mukbangs. Thought, well, maybe I'll just do a mukbang. And all of a sudden, I couldn't swallow. I don't know what happened. I couldn't swallow. So I'm sitting here, like, choking, but I couldn't swallow. So I went to, into the bathroom. If you don't know... My pit bull puppy thinks the bathroom is his house. He stays in there. He likes it in there. It's private. He likes it in there. He don't like to be in general population because he's too excited. And when he's back there in the bathroom, because when he's a little AB, he used to live in the bathtub. Yeah. Because I had him in a crate. And he would chew the plastic thing of the crate. And I'm like, oh my god, he's going to go blockage and get sick and die. So because he couldn't jump out of the tub, I'd put him in the tub. Anyway, long story short. When I went back to the bathroom, Tippy guys follows me. It don't matter where I go in the house, Tippy will follow me. And Sticky's already back there in the bathroom. So I'm back there going like this and all kinds of weird stuff trying to get myself this thing to come dislodged from my throat. I was back there a good 45 minutes. And, uh, I like the candy bear. And what makes it scary is, <laughs> shut up, Tippy. I thought I was going to black out. And I was sitting on the toilet. Because I had to sit down. I was just, I was standing up and I was like, you know, like coughing over the toilet. Trying to dislodge this thing. I know, this is gross. I talk about gross things when we're eating. But this is, I used to work in medical. So I can tell you all kinds of gross stuff. Anyway, so I'm coughing. Trying to just dislodge this thing. I'm patting myself here. My arm don't reach back here to pat myself on the back real good. So I have a shampoo bottle, and I'm beating my back with a shampoo bottle, you know, like when, you know, trying to dislodge it. I'm taking sips of water. The water is not going down, so naturally it's coming out. And, uh, I don't know. All of a sudden I just felt like I was blacking out. And Stinky... 
my pit bull puppy, who's almost five months old. He's like, he got very concerned with me. And Chippy got very concerned with me. They're both barking and like trying to bring me back to reality. And they did. I think if it would have been quiet in there, I think I would have blacked out. But the dogs brought me back. That was the first time I've ever had anything like that weird happen. I'm dropping peanuts on my shirt. Oh, well. Yeah, so... After all that coughing and trying to swallow water, finally, all of a sudden it was gone. It didn't come up, so it must have went down. I don't even know. I think it was a piece of hamburger meat or something. It was so scary. Yeah. I have another story to tell you about dogs and Tippy. I had to get surgery. In 2009, I think it was. Yeah. And I was so scared. I was so scared that I wasn't going to wake up. Well, long story short, after surgery, I got very ill. I got septus in my blood. Almost died. Wound up in the hospital. They couldn't find out really what, what the problem was. Except for my blood was bad. I had another surgery in my abdomen to, to look around to see what was going on with me. And I found out I had a a bio duct that was damaged during a gallbladder surgery. So it was causing me to have all these issues. Anyway, I was so weak and so sick from this because I, I was sick for like almost a whole month. It was like June 11th when I had the first surgery and June 29th when I had the second surgery. Anyway, long story short, went into surgery, and I was dreaming, and I could see Tippy running through a field of green grass, and he was bouncing, running around all over the place, and he came up in my dream, and he sniffed me on my nose, and I looked at him, and he looked at me, sniffed me again, and I woke up. I woke up to see intensive care. I was in intensive care, had tubes in my nose, tubes everywhere. That's so scary, but Tippy woke me up. And Ashley called AJ and told AJ that I was dying. But Tippy woke me up because I didn't want to wake up. I didn't wake up for like, I don't know. I think it was like two or three days I didn't wake up. Because that's how weak and sick I was. But Tippy woke me up. And you know what's really funny? This was like in the evening time, so they all came to check me and, you know, had checked to have me take my toes and squeeze the guy's finger. I'd squeeze the guy's hand. They grab my hand, have me squeeze his hand, ask me what my name was and all that stuff. And I said, wow. They just looked at me and said, wow. Because they thought I was going too. But Tippy woke me up. Getting a boy boy. He is so special to me. He is my best friend. Yeah. I almost start to cry because this was such a scary thing. And today was such a scary thing. But I'm okay. And, uh, yeah, dogs are great. <laughs> they really are. Especially if you have a personal relationship with a dog. And I sound like I'm talking about religion. Oh, personal relationship with God. Have a personal relationship with your animal. Make it part of your family. But, yeah. So, that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. And... Screw my lunch. I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to toss it out. And I just want candy. That's okay. I deserve it. I went through some shit this afternoon. Oh, well. Thanks for snack banging with me. Now, I'll see you another time if you choose to come back. Bye.